Well, Northwest Oklahoma alone has more than 20,000 megawatts of wind generating capacity, which could power over 5 million homes. A potential that could make Oklahoma the number one wind energy producer in the nation. And as many western Oklahoma towns believing their future lies with what's sweeping down the plain. As our Keith Smith showed us earlier this year, Weatherford is hoping to cash in on the winds of progress. Hard to miss even if you're in a rush. Nearly 100 wind turbines surround the small town of Weatherford off I-40 in western Oklahoma. Longtime local Leslie Crawl showing off what he likes to call his wind crop. This is one of two wind towers that are on my family's farm. A farmer at the forefront of the state's growing wind industry. As you can tell by looking at the grass and my hair, it's uh, blowing pretty good today. Most days the wind's going to blow. Mayor Mike Brown says the Wind Energy Center has been a breath of fresh air since its inception in 2005. Going green has meant more green, a financial windfall. Uh, each one of them receives somewhere between four and five thousand dollars a year per turbine uh, for a 20-year um, uh, contract, and uh, uh, naturally they spend that money here in Weatherford. Jobs have been created with the investment in wind energy that produces enough electricity to power more than 44,000 homes. When they actually constructed the wind turbines, there was about 150 people that came in to, uh, uh, you know, actually build those turbines. We didn't pick them, they picked us. Weatherford's economic development director, Bill Shonley, says wind is the way to go. They're good paying jobs and they're study jobs and they're, uh, and they're needed jobs. Now, there's been close to $2 million that uh, has come back to our community to be spent for the people that live here. They tell us that if the wind's blowing at least uh, seven or eight miles an hour that they're uh, making electricity. So uh, uh, even though we're apologetic about the wind sometimes, uh, uh, the people in that business say that's the sound of money. If you get underneath them, they're very awe-inspiring. They're, they're, they look large from the, the road, but when you get up underneath one of them, they're, they're huge. And you don't have to go far to find out about the 260-foot wind turbines. There's a display right next to City Hall. I think that when people get up here and take a look at the, uh, the base of that uh, blade and, and realize how big it is, uh, uh, you know, a lot of them are in awe. A sense of pride for a place that has always been blessed with Oklahoma's most abundant resource.